Hello everyone, we're gonna who here for five down those crappy Game Boy Color games. Now let's move on to the main meet here, the Tony Hawk Game Boy Advance games here. All developed by Vicarious Christians, who later go on to do the the fantastic Tony Hawk 1 Plus 2 remake, as well as the Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy 3, which is pretty good too. Unfortunately, they also want to nail some pretty bad SpongeBob Game Boy games. So, I don't know, but I have heard good things about these Tony Hawk Game Boy Advance games, so. So, Hank Lee, these, these Tony Hawk GBA games definitely are more faithful to the the actual console games, but when there's bloody Game Boy Color games, which I do. So let's jump straight into tutorial. Career mode? Oh, we got the tutorial here. And we look at that, it's actually an isometric 3D. And this is what I'm talking about, not this awkward top down 2D crabble lane. It's weird. A press the. L trigger to, yeah, since the Game Boy Advance still only has two buttons, buttons, it's still pretty awkward to do tricks, so the map the two extra buttons that usually have on the draw to the L and R triggers, which I can actually be pretty damn bloody awkward to do, so use the L trigger to grind. Thankfully, and the R triggers for grabs as well, so that can we really screw around with your muscle man when you play the tunnel gets so long? Angle I, I could just map map like the triggers to what they would actually be in my place control and it'll honestly I could then I could play it just fine. Also this isometric nice isometric angle took me a while to get used to since obviously it's not behind the car like it normally is, it's just I mean it's a 3D model basically on top of a 2D-ish background, really. And I'm pretty pressed to manage to do like, able to do like 3D models on the Game Boy Advance. I mean, other games like Super Monkey Ball Jr. where I just before like 3D graphics on this as well. And yeah, I mean, obviously they don't look the best. The are just like up. I mean, how many polygons are they? I got like 10 or something. I mean. The old lady just blocky Lego pickle, pickles, Lego people with no faces. But yeah, everyone is here, every skater. Uh, unfortunately, we can't create a skater since that's too advanced for this game of fans, I guess. But don't worry, once we get to post skate, we will be able to create our own skater. So, wait, warehouse? Oh yeah, not every level from Puss 2 is in this GBA port, much like with GBC port as well, so... But hey, let's start off with the hanger. So, so we got all the same goals here, really. I'm going to play as at least a steamer for a change, because why the hell not? Oh yeah! I'm not like, even though... We definitely got better 16... 32 bit -ish graphics... Here... I'm not gonna lie, this was still pretty damn bloody awkward to do. Mainly because this whole bad. and this cow angle just couldn't play really get. used to it, really. Right, everything is here. You got cash to get, and. Oh, yeah, no, I mean, not every level is here. As I'm trying to try and basically think, uh, Venice is not in this. Is not in this game, and as well as Philadelphia and Baldwin, they're not in the game either. And there's no chopper drop, no skate heaven, so yeah, not not many levels in this game, honestly. Okay, I think we've got six score now, surely. Yeah, I was like, it took me a while to get used to this cow angle. I mean, I mean it's probably the best I could do with a Game Boy Advance, I guess, but. Uh, I don't know. 
Like, you really want to play Tony Hawk on the go back then, and I guess this is all you had, but... Like I said, nowadays, there's no point to getting ready to these Game Boy Advance games. You can just easily play Tony Hawk 1 Plus 2, 2 on your Switch. And he then laid down on what it's like... Tony Hawk 1 on the Engage, and this Underground 2 Remix, which I will cover at the end of the year, so I am going to be covering Underground 2 Remix as well. Did you think I'm forgetting that? Okay, so I am going to make a bunch of cuts here. Okay. So yeah, but basically, they definitely replicated the hang here the best they could, really, but... Unfortunately, though, they did... They, they are definitely sort of made some sort of differences compared to the PS1 game as well. Yeah, the hang tank, the hang tank gets the still here. But I don't know, the one I can normally get with ease is the one I jump over the helicopter. I can't with these base stats, so yeah, there's one goal here I can't exactly do yet because I don't have high enough stats. Yeah, and going there, it'll open the tunnel to the secret tail. What? That's not supposed to work. You're going to. Helicopter to open that area. And what the? Apple. Okay, don't know why I changed that. And okay, why is this different? Why are there two hard pipes? I mean, the secret tape is at least in the safe place. But okay. All right, we got school two here. But all goals are basically the same here. And yeah, now we got school two here, which so far looks. Pretty much the same as it did in the PS1 game. Mm. Honestly, this isometric angle kind of really screws me up when I'm trying to make jumps off of ramps and half pipes, honestly. And the music I can say is okay. Again, a 20 and like soundtrack of the console games. And again, I just don't think this sounds good at all, really. Uh, so, the. Oh, uh, yeah, this is still Tony Hawk 2, so. We can't weep up, we still can't level well out. It's still pretty bad for my liking, still. I mean, just like the console games, later on they will add more and more features, just like the console for this day, so... So oh, why, well, eventually we'll have Weavers and Spine Threads and all that stuff. And we'll see how well they may execute them on this Game Boy hardware. So here I'm basically trying to get the highest score. Hey. Yeah, the ice just angle on just takes a wee bloody awkward when you're trying to land just... Land anything here. I just... Ugh. Yeah, I'm definitely having real talk just trying to get huge combos going. I just... I mean, but, yeah, this is very me first starting to play this game, so... Come on, Lisa. Why can't I need that jump? So let's go do this for a while. We really have a high base score, so I might as well just increase the multiplier. Okay, it was enough. <sighs> Yeah, obviously this game is obviously nowhere near as good as the actual console version, honestly. But hey, we we lost the first competition. Mess A. Like right now here is where the uh, what you call this pyre. Right here we need this big jumbo over here. I said it's a thousand times more hard because this. God damn, I spent your angle. I'm gonna complain about that an awful lot. But right now, I'm just gonna focus on getting the skate ladders. 
Yeah, you can kick flip TC root gap. Just then Fonz version. Yeah, we've got skate. And hall passes, they're mostly in the same spots really. And we'll call whales. Whales, well, two of them are mostly the same, but one and for some reason they tried to change it up. Yes, yeah, says TC. Yeah, that didn't confuse me at all. Any school battles, which now basically suck even more since trying to war ride on the Game Boy fans is really bloody awkward. So I feel it doesn't even bloody work half the time. Hey, okay, that's I think that's all the goals in school too, I think. I thought we show instead of getting all the cash, honestly, but honestly, that should be too hard to find. Maybe they they will get to, but hey. Well, here we got the competition now. And honestly, just trying to get big highest combos in this game is definitely not more awkward in the cons version. Mainly because it's, it's just the. I think it's really, that's maybe my biggest problem with this game. It's just the angle. The, the isometric, yeah, that isometric angle in this game. Just makes it really hard to see where you're landing and going. I mean, I mean honestly, it's, it probably can be helped much with the Game Boy Advance, but. Mm. Oh, I don't know. It's best you could do, but... Also, I'm thinking, I don't think I really would recommend play, playing the, the Game Boy Advance Tony Hawk games nowadays. It's just not worth it. Alright, so yeah, I'm back in Haina. Now that I have better stats, I can now take these hang time gets properly. I didn't need to do this in the console version, but okay. Make this huge jump. Why is it called 412 hang time? I know, yeah, there's also a gap checklist in these Tony in these Game Boy Advance games, but I don't see not gonna bother with a gap checklist, honestly. I believe you do get a new character to get all the gaps in this GBA port. There you go, I actually probably need a jump. And though the secret tape wasn't there, was always in. Why? You know, it. You know, yeah, that's the thing. That's the odd thing in this game. It looks like it tries to be faithful to the console version, but they make like a bunch of weird and unnecessary changes that messes up with your. Your memory of the console version is just. Why can't they kept it faithful? Why did they have to make some weird changes? You can't be faithful and make changes. You can't. At the same time, you can't do both. I'd be faithful to the console version or just make something completely different. You can't have it both ways, my KS Visions. That's probably my biggest problem in the game. They, need, they try to be faithful with the game, but they also need some changes which. Are completely unnecessary and screws around your muscle man where you just. Aye. Wow, this isn't awkward at all. I'm mean, bad at this, I met the D pad controls to a, my thumbstick. Like, so it's a bit, bit awkward. Yeah, that's where. That's, that's, that's one of the hard cash icons to get. So I think I'll show Son and at least the hard one to get. Alright, that's score 2 done. Yeah, this is just one video because I heavily edit this to hell and back. Again, editing, I'm gonna say, yeah, it's probably every time, but editing these Tony or GBA playthroughs was. Took, was really long and tiring to do, so I hope you'll hang for all this stuff. So, next level here isn't New York City for some reason, it's the warehouse from Full Skater 1 with new unique goals. What? Th th this is Full Skater 2, not a. Not you report a Full Skater 1 and 2. Okay, I guess we'll 
playing warehouse, I saw isn't. Again, it's basically pretty faithful to its PS1 counterparts. Yeah, that's a bloody odd choice. Warehouse? Oh, okay, I'm not complaining, but. This is supposed to be Pro Scale 2 wise. Why is there Pro Scale 1 level? I mean, probably makes more sense as a hidden unlockable, but it's not, so. Yeah, we still got boxes to break and skating there, but we've got a bunch of new collectibles. This, this is Pro Skate 2 as well, so I think we've also got. Got, yeah, we've also got spray cans to get, which are annoying to get because they're often hidden off camera for some reason. I don't, don't know why. Okay, this hard pipe sucks. Alright. Uh, trying to try and take care of six floor while I'm constantly bailing. Uh, uh, lost the combo. I've only got 20 seconds left, I want some big points. Now, I'm going to go ahead and like change my special tricks, but I think for Trips 2 and GBA, you can't change your special tricks, so... Yeah, that fly sucks. Yeah, there are special tricks in this game, but you can't change them at all, so... There you go. Now i got a 6 score. Uh, this... This count angle makes me sick, that's for sure. I mean, nothing they could do about it still. Oh yeah, 5 over the big whale. Alright, do I have to do a specific trick over the pipe? Well, but if it was, it wasn't a melon. Oh, we got three old school gaps. Okay. Okay, here I think is where I get all the crates now. Here's the T. Here's the A. Here's the Quake. Here's the Quake over. Quake. Yes, yeah, so let's play some Quake now. Uh, here we go. I think the crates are mostly in the same places. And here's the E as well. Okay. And there's the yes. Alright. And one of the secret tapers is up here for some reason. Why did they put it up there? Hidden away from the camera. Why they why they decide to change they actually also that spray can? Yeah, I couldn't find it for life of me. And that's right, this where house play sucks. Why they decide to change the secret tape? Away from the camera, it's just terrible. Gotta go with that for the old school gap. Do I kick it for the old school gap? That makes sense. Yeah, yeah I think this is the. Let's see. I want to say Hainer is a good level, but then School 2 kind of starts to suck a bit. So, so far, only the first level has only been truly good. I want to say, School 2 has some janky stuff to it, and with some undersea chain in the warehouse. Yeah, as you're going to notice as we get further through this game, it starts, it starts to get a bit worse and worse. So... Alright. And believe it or not, we're at the last regular level of this game, New York. Yeah. Same objectives except we got a Wangle Blue Cow for some reason. So yeah, and this is also definitely the worst level in the entire game. I mean, it's a very faithful recreation of the console game, minus the uh, 
secret tape right here they removed that so they changed the location of the secret tape again why do they keep doing that start making unnecessary changes bb mm. all right we try to hard to get a high score here but oh, i can't land that bloody ledge Come on! I just want to get a high score. Why are you not laying me? There we go. Okay, I think it's where I now get with skate letters. Alright. Looks like most of them are in the same ish places, I guess. Okay, here's the blue cow. We need to do like three, do three gaps of where jump from. Sort of here, jump it two ways, then glide on it. That is a lot harder than it looks. Fuck that blue cow. Yeah, let's try sculpture here. Still got 50 yet. Still got all the other three items with their awkward hitboxes, but wasn't that bad really. Alright, and. We also got the subway tokens, which are pretty hard to try fire and all. I mean, not so bad. You need a guide, but eh. hey, that wasn't too bad. And now for the secret tape. And honestly, I can see here, fuck this secret tape. We gotta do a bunch of wall wires and everything in order to get over there. But so is it anyway. If I get here. The wall was just flat out dope for fucking work. I couldn't get that secret tape for the life of me. I mean, I've been trying at it for hours, so. At the end, I don't care, coin poster. I just had to give up and just lose cheat codes. Get it? Fuck that secret tape. What were you thinking by Chaos Visions? And that's why Duke says the worst known targeting. That fucking secret tape. Practically impossible to get. Hi. Uh, now we got the second and last competition here. I guess I didn't feel like developing more levels or, or something. What were they on? A, did they like had to watch this game or something? Yeah, I'm losing. I'm losing scans. Losing noon grade to cheese all this. Well, it's like looks like we're the same level again, but honestly, what do I care at this point? Honestly, the hand was like the only good good level in this GBA port. The West just honestly just sucked. Score two out on the say changes. Get there, yeah, that's the end of the game. Honestly, it's really really short. Sure you know what you're doing. Yeah, what you get for being the career mode? Nothing really, but you see there on lock balls we have Spider-Man, yes, Spider-Man Zine in this game, and we got Mindy, which I think you get for either clean all the skaters in the game, get all the gaps, I don't know, and here's the, unlock the only unlockable level they can get actually get, Rue Tops, it's just, it's just they got two Rue's and, yeah, honestly it's just nothing special. Just as good as those Tony Hawk 2X levels, honestly. Not really worth wasting your time just to unlock this level. And yeah, Mindy, I guess this is Vivi's version of Private Guerrero, I guess. Yeah, I don't I don't know. Hey, how's Puss get to the GBA? Oh well. Definitely a much better attempt compared to those terrible Game Boy Color games, but honestly, nowadays there's no point in playing this game. It, it really does not hold. Oh, no, honestly. Honestly, I think the only good level in this game is the first level, Hanger. Score 2 has an unnecessary chain that screws around your muscle memory. Um, warehouse was a weird, weird replacement. Again, this and it has objects well, that are basically off camera, you have no idea where they are. And New York City, just fuck that secret tape. 
How in the world did you manage to figure out how to get that and this? Yeah, this is just not a good game. Not a good game, sorry. But, would they do? Would they improve with Post Gate 3 on the Game Boy Advance? I hope so. <laughs> but until then, I'll see you next time, guys. See ya. Later, this is gonna be torture, isn't it?